This is the story of numbers, types of numbers, a lot of examples and their uses. So let's jump right in. A long long time ago, man used his fingers or markings on bones for counting and later devised various symbols or figures for each number. While in those times, man normally counted the animals he killed and ate. Several thousand years later, man is still counting, although mostly money. Counting comes naturally to us as something that goes 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Hence, such numbers are grouped as natural numbers with the symbol N. Well, you know, you may be rich one day, but there are days when you are flat broke with no money left. So when it comes to describing the notion of nothing, a number 0 was discovered. When we add the number 0 to the set of natural numbers, we get what is called as the whole numbers, symbol W. In most circumstances, these are the numbers we deal with, nothing more, nothing less. Except of course, certain situations prove this to be not true. For example, when you have to measure the depth of a ship below sea level, when the temperature drops to sub-zero under very chilly conditions, and of course, when you owe money to the bank. In all such cases, the numbers are called as negative numbers, which when clubbed together with the whole numbers, form a new group called integers, strangely denoted by the letter Z. The term integer as a matter of fact is derived from Latin word that means whole, intact or entire. So far so good. However, there are situations when you are required to deal with parts of a whole or fractions as they are called. For example, parts of a pizza, measuring height more accurately, in this case 1.5 meters, calculating the fraction of a difference in time in a very very close race, specific measures of ingredients in a cake recipe, mm, yum, and so on. So any and every number that you can practically think of in the real world, which can be denoted as a fraction or in a decimal form constitute what is called as real numbers, expressed as the symbol R. Now take any integer, say minus 4. This number can be denoted as a fraction, namely minus 4 upon 1. So all integers are real numbers too, as obviously are the whole numbers and the natural numbers as well. Here are some examples of real numbers on the number line. We have 3 upon 2 which is 1.5, minus 1 upon 3, which is 0 0.3333, just keep repeating the decimal digits. The number 6, 18 by 5, etc, etc. Now most of the real decimal numbers can be expressed in form of a ratio. What I mean by this is that the number can be written as a ratio of two integers. Of course, the denominator cannot be zero. For example, 0 0.4 can be written as the ratio 2 upon 5. Minus 0 0.375 is minus 3 upon 8. Also, 2.33, where the decimal 3 keeps repeating forever, can be expressed as 7 upon 3. So the numbers that can be expressed as ratio of integers where the decimals terminate or repeat are called rational numbers. On the other hand, there are some numbers that are irrational or not rational. Try dividing the circumference of a circle by its diameter. The answer reads something like and it goes on and on forever. The calculation never terminates nor shows any repeating pattern of any sort. This is the number pi, also written as 22 upon 7. But this ratio is just an approximation, not accurate. Another example of irrational number is the square root of 2, which is the length of the diagonal of a square of size 1 unit. This number also does not terminate 
nor do its decimals repeat a certain pattern. Numbers like these are irrational numbers, which have many applications in the real world by the way. Examples being calculating area or volume of shapes that involve a circle, encryption algorithms, deriving compound interests on loans by banks, etc. etc. So numbers that cannot be represented as ratio of integers and where decimals do not terminate nor show any repeating pattern are called irrational numbers. Both rational and irrational numbers form real numbers as you can see here. And here for you folks is naturally the whole real picture of all types of numbers which rationally speaking should help you in your maths assignments.